OMG BBG! Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst unboxing. Today we have Quadrate Goods. This one though is a little bit exciting, I guess, because Kit is back in the anime, as you can see. I'll throw it up right now. But uh, you can see that Kit is back in the Quad Strike show, and he will be the owner of World Knight K8. So I guess this Quad Strike Bay is gonna be shown in the anime. Yes, sir. And I mean, the gimmicks from the Takeratomi version, they were like kind of cool because that had the whole like airflow thing, like to increase down force or like uh, the upper force there. But this is probably gonna have none of that. <laughs> so yeah, you probably can't twist it and yeah, change the modes. Exactly, it's quad strike, right? So everything is dumbed down a little bit, but it's an overall very round base. So I assume that it's going to perform fairly well when you compare it to other bays that are similar to this. But overall though, it's just exciting to have a bay that's actually going to be seen inside the anime. So let's take a look at the back of the box really quickly here. World Knight K8 is a stamina type, it's right spinning. It comes with the G01 gravity ring, QD03 disc, which looks like tapered, uh, TA21-Q, that one there looks like jaggy or something like that, and then S07 armor tip, which actually looks like the tip from the Takeratomi version, so they tried to keep that look at least, and made it green as well. So of course you get your core mode, apex mode, core plus, apex plus, all that stuff, right? Four ways to play with quad strike. The fact that it's very circular, you know, like this is the easiest design you can possibly do, right? Yeah. So I guess they can't really take away the circular aspect of the bay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a fairly simple design to begin with, right? So I, I get it, right? Like when you look at just this front logo right there, this front image, it does look fairly similar to the Tsukiratomi version. Obviously, once you actually open this, it's going to be very different. but. You are given hope at least. Yes, give me hope. Let's there. open it. Let's go ahead and unbox World Knight, but right before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss us in the next video. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. So, this is a starter pack, so it does come with a launcher. Not that you probably like these launchers, but at least you get one so you can play. More plastic waste. Yeah, just so much launcher junk. Oh, there's our launcher driver. And the instruction manual. Yep, and that is it. How's it looking? Um, round. So I mean, they accomplished that. Yay. Very round. <laughs> but uh, details are missing once again, so that is typical. Yo, you guys know, round base equals OP day. <laughs> Yeah, like I expect this one to do fairly decent when you compare it to other Quad Strike ones, but dang, yeah. Gimmicks are pretty much gone. They didn't even make a Hasbro version of the Moon Disc that it came with originally, so that's fun. Yeah, nothing worse. No airflow. I wonder how they're gonna portray that in the anime though. Well, it still has cutouts, so that's probably all we're going to get. They're like, like, oh, there's cutouts, so it's aerodynamic. But and are they gonna feature the like twisting, changing modes, the up force, nah, down force? Nothing, bro. Nah. Nothing. All right, we'll see. I doubt it. Starting with the strike chip, obviously a lot of details are missing here. The face of the knight is not as apparent in this design. Obviously, originally you get teeth in this, right? We're stuck with grooves once again, so you have to twist this to lock it into the energy layer base. The energy layer base was the most special part because it had a sub layer that you can twist to change the modes. You can get like an upper force mode or like a down force mode, depending on how you want to play. Those type of gimmicks were always really hard to see in battle, whether or not it was working. But it was actually a neat feature though, right? The whole concept of getting more airflow, planting itself to the stadium floor, it was really cool. Although the overall combo for the original wasn't that strong, but now we get nothing. So <laughs> appreciate that Takeratomi version. Looks like we do get three cutouts in the energy layer base here. The overall shape is still very round, so once again, it probably will perform pretty well. For the disc, like I was mentioning, we were supposed to get the moon disc, but we get a tapered disc instead. Of course, this is the Hasbro version of tapered as well, so it's also lighter. The cool thing about the moon disc is that it did have two pieces to it. It had an outer plastic layer and the metal as well. And also don't forget about the BU lock too. But I guess it gave us a similar shape, so... I yeah. see what you did there. They're like, oh, what's like super circular and something that we already have that we can easily just throw in here without having to redesign anything. And they basically chose tapered. For the gravity ring, looks like they gave us two instead of six, which is not surprising. They like to mix up the gravity rings a lot 
It is made of plastic as well, so it really doesn't matter. For the performance tip, looks like we get a jaggy tip here, so definitely something a little bit more aggressive. I'm surprised they gave this tip to World Knight K8. Has a star-shaped pattern at the bottom there. It moves around decently quick, but not the fastest. For the armor tip, we got S07, and it does look like they tried to mimic the look of the Bounce driver that comes with the original. They even made it green as well. The design of Bounce was fairly unique when it first came out. It has a very wide circular ring around it. It did make contact with the stadium, which was kind of sad though. That's what really screwed up the performance for the original. The center tip is supposed to be sharp, and then it actually moves in and out, hence the name Bounce. But for Hasbro, obviously, it does not go up and down. It is not spring-loaded whatsoever. It's just a standard tip. All right, let's put our bead together. Just this way, there we go. So simple. Gravity ring, tapered. Put the armor tip on already. Feels like it weighs a decent amount. Yeah, but it's way smaller than the Takeratomi one though. Yeah. The Takeratomi one was very, very wide. Yeah, I don't know, man. This definitely still has got the like Hasbro McDonald's vibe to it. <laughs> nice and round, which is cool. And I don't think it's going to scrape against the stadium floor as much as the Takeratomi version. Yeah. But you're also a lot lighter. And of course you're missing gimmicks. Really the only thing that's going for it is that super round energy layer design. Obviously another feature that's missing from the Hasbro version is the whole wobbly disc thing, right? That was kind of the neat feature for yeah. this disc driver combo there. Being able to like retract and yeah. uh, absorb kind of, attack and stuff. And, yeah, exactly. But yeah, didn't work out well in battle, but still missing. Three, two, one, let it rip. Pretty Actually, stable, right? Looks decent in the stadium. And honestly, the Takeru Tomi bounce driver was not all that great anyway, so maybe having a different tip, you know, could actually be better. Positive way of looking at it. Okay, let's do some battles. All right. So quad strike. Three, Three two, two, one. This battle going crazy. Okay. Makes it easy. Good stamina. It's so round. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Mm. Super, two super round guys, right? Oh, Raphael. Circular Bay OP. Legit. Alright. So, win streak continues. Three, Three two, two, one. Jacobius, mm. also another round day. But not as rounded smooth as uh, Knight. So now that both are pretty wow. similar in attributes, and ooh. I'm also using the, just the Hasbro launcher here too. Look at so you go. Doing pretty well. And it hasn't moved at all, hasn't unlocked. Okay, next one. We Zeal? got Zeal Achilles. Three, two, one. <laughs> Performance is amazing. <laughs> amazing? Even though you're scraping a little bit there, I think you're still gonna win. World Knight. Like he leaves his uh, left spin though. Oh, oh yeah, he should equalize, yeah. and I think Zeal actually took it. I think it did. Okay, that was cool. Okay, that is it for our unboxing on World Knight K8. So Kit is going to own this bay in the anime. We're gonna see this featured in the show quite a bit. Now, should you buy it, consider it, or avoid it? Uh, that's rough. Overall, Quad Strike, overall, you should probably avoid it. But I'd say that if you are into this, then this is one that you can consider because it's super round design is going to make it pretty strong when going up against other Quad Strike bays. Word. Yeah, so don't just go out there and buy it, though. Uh, I would say save your money uh, for some stuff that you really want. Consider this one, okay? I am looking forward to the Quad Strike anime though, to see yeah. what uh, kind of special move it does. Yeah, exactly. It'll be nice to see all of our old characters come back for one last season. All right, like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out! out.